healthy native fish population is a great indicator of a healthy stream. And if you look at the principles of Tamano Tawai, it really puts the environment at the top of the list. And the basis is if you've got a healthy environment, you've got healthy people. Historically, engineers were always focused on getting get the water from A to B, realising in many cases that would create a barrier for the fishers. So there's been a real acknowledgement over more recent times that we actually need to create the ability for the fish to actually migrate up the streams. In Tamaki Makoro, we've identified over 4,000 barriers to fish passage. So in-stream structures like culverts and weirs that prevent the movement or delay the movement of fish. And so we've created a program in Healthy Waters to remediate these barriers. There's several ways that we remediate barriers to fish passage, especially with culverts. There's a drop between the culvert apron and the water level. And so we want to raise that water level by putting rocks downstream, creating a little pool, and that enables the fish to swim freely through the culvert. Freshwater fish are incredibly important, but things like habitat loss and loss of connectivity for habitat because of man-made structures and stream, we are seeing a decline over 70% are threatened or at risk of extinction. It's important from a Taro Māori perspective because the fish, they indicate healthy Māori in the waterways. They help by eating microinvertebrates and it just signifies that the water itself is healthy and clean. With works that occur in the stream, there's several planning requirements around these, uh, which is to help protect the environment, and we acknowledge that. However, because there are so many barriers across Tamaki Mokoro, we wanted to streamline the process and be able to work through some of the red tape a bit quicker and more cost effectively. If we're going to do a consent for every individual fish pass, A, it would cost us an awful lot of money, B, it would consume an awful lot of time, and see we wouldn't end up with a better outcome at the end of the day. And so the logic is to look at a, at a, a model whereby we take a regional approach to things, do it once and do it properly, and everyone benefits. We've gone through a process in getting the consent, which lasts for 35 years. We've worked with multiple stakeholders around the consent process, and that includes the ecologists, the contractors, the engineers, and the, our compliance teams. And we also work closely with our Manafana partners in the consent process. So with this consent, we're really hoping to improve efficiencies and make this process more cost effective. And ultimately, we're hoping to see more fish in the awa throughout Tamaki Makoro.